show you the, the basic thing in Turkish bread? Yes, please. Look at that pile of onion there. The mountain of onion. Do you want to tell you something? Yeah, please. Like there is a, uh... How long is this gonna take? Good afternoon, people, and welcome to a new video from Istanbul. The area is called Beyoğlu. Today I'm gonna take you around because I want you to see how they eat in Istanbul. So, oh, oh I've got someone here. How are you doing, Kobe? Huh? You recognize the girl, the one and only, the Turkish princess, <laughs> with the beaming smile always on her face. And yeah, speaking of food, guys, you can see they have a lot of uh, fancy sweet places here in Istanbul. And so the place here, uh, Sally, is called Beyoğlu. Eh? Beyoğlu. And so we're gonna go for a late breakfast, so a brunch, uh, because breakfast is actually a very big deal. Uh, in can Turkey. imagine <laughs> in Turkey. Yeah. Well, I found a place. We're gonna go and check it out. She's my uh, chauffeur, <laughs> my private guy today. Yeah. Do so, you, where do you want to go? Well, to get breakfast, I'm starving. Okay. I'm starving, let's baby. Go. Chale, chale. Chale, chale. <laughs> How do you say let's go in Turkish? Hadi gidiyoruz. Hadi gidiyoruz. Okay. Yalla. Yalla, let's go. <laughs> yeah, guys, we are looking at the beautiful Galata Tower. Or Galata Kulesi, as they call it here in Turkey one of the biggest symbols of, of Istanbul, if not the biggest actually. And yeah, the place, as you can see, is buzzing. There's a lot of people, a lot of people taking pictures. There's a lot of food merchants selling, you know, grilled corn, uh, uh, some nuts. Well, I didn't even take you here to take you up the tower because I've been there already and it's just, you know, it's not, it's not even that high. It's a beautiful tower though. Uh, we might get there another time, guys, but today, as I told you, it's about food. Um, Istanbul is very very known for for food Turkish food is famous worldwide we just picked a restaurant to have a brunch here with Saliha so I'll take you there you see there is the uh, you guys probably know that that dude sold by he's got his own restaurant here so the guy who sells a uh, steak and he's got his little trademark drink the salt like that it's a bit of a weirdo if you ask me but uh, apparently the, the, the meat is good and we are going to oh look at that this is one of the famous trick they do here with the ice cream <laughs> no no i'm okay bro i'm okay i'm good i'm, I'm having food here bro thank you <laughs> just teasing him the whole time <laughs> there you go and uh, yeah so that's the place it's a chic really posh little cafe we picked with my darling oh we have some bread already oh it's from tea fantastic and that's the breakfast and that's the breakfast that's a little light and, uh, the traditional that's a little light. breakfast <laughs> is it yeah okay so it's a very nice cafe you you picked darling oh no sorry i picked it <laughs> <laughs> Cheers my darling. So you see this is the this is how they drink tea here in Turkey. So very different. They always use those kind of drinks. So it's uh this is black tea, yeah? Mm -hmm. Black tea straight. Turkish you never tea. yeah, Turkish tea. You never drink it with milk, eh? Yeah. But like 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 Indian people or people in uh, Asia, you do drink tea a lot. A lot. It's just that you drink it straight like you look different from, you know, the Sally I, I met in Ladakh <laughs> or in Kashmir or, you know, you look a little more posh, a little more fancy. This is uh, the normal life and this the This is a normal Sally. Is... It's different, eh? Oh, um, yeah, I always look like a bum because I'm always on the road. Look at this nice little scarf today. <laughs> it's quite cool actually in this summer. Winter is harsh in Europe, guys. Big platter is coming. Fancy. Thank you. Oh, many men. Oh, is it good? Ekmekleri sinemesi, ekmekleri sinemesi, ekmekleri sinemesi, ekmekleri sinemesi. Thank you, bro. Did you just go to the kitchen to make that for us? Yeah. Yeah? It was nice of you. This is Saliha's speciality to make the many men. Uh, yours look better. Yours looks better. So, 
looks like a huge breakfast. But the price is also huge. So. <laughs> I'll get some more coming, some more eggs. You say Sahanda omelette. Sahanda. Sahanda omelette. Sahanda. Ah, uh, okay. Sahanda, like on the. Yeah, plate. okay. Sahanda omelette. Okay, on the pan. Yeah. On the pan. The mini men. What else? Is it chocolate there? Yeah. yeah it's <laughs> Nutella. Simit, yeah, the famous bread. Yeah. Actually, you see a lot of street sailors selling these ones. It, yeah, it's round. <laughs> it's always round. Round. Yes, huh? Yeah. And uh, it's very nice. Nice, man. <laughs> Let me show you the the basic thing in Turkish bread. Yes, please. Tomatoes. Before before I just put my head. In. <laughs> Tomato, cucumber, and yeah. sometimes uh, green pepper. Um, Capsicum. Yeah. yeah. Cheese. Yeah. yeah. Olive. Uh, and cheese is always. Generally, like menemen or eggs. This is the, the old This is the basic what you always have. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, also honey. Honey. Yeah. This jam. Yeah, jam. Chocolate. Yeah. Different kind of cheese. Yeah. This you don't always have that, do you? Generally, actually. Yeah, you do no, actually. It's yeah. also good breakfasting, and if you're going to camping, that's yeah. it's good to doing on the fire. On the grill, yeah. Uh -huh. nice. Sujuk. Sujuk. Name that's sujuk. the name. Yeah. Sujuk. Uh -huh. So butter, sujuk, yeah. cheese. No. What's what is this? that? Kaimak. Kaimak? Uh -huh. What is it? Is it like a? Uh, kaimak is uh, on the like when you when the milk just boiled. But cream. Kind but cream. Of, yeah, cream milk. It's very fresh. It's good with honey. Wow, and it's excellent. Yeah, with oh yeah, remember you mix it with honey like and bread. Show us, some. show us how it's done, Miss Miss Turkish. <laughs> you can use the kaimak or you can use the this one. Butter. 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 <laughs> and then you're taking honey. this honey. Yeah. Like this. She's uh, in her elements now. Yeah, and or you can put some jam. Okay. Nice. And then. And then for me. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Arun. <laughs> we have a little left. And the mix of the honey. And that cream, so what, repeat the name of that? Kaimak. That's in very Turkish good. So you see guys, way. breakfast in uh, Turkey. It's a lot, eh? Yeah. Uh, well, we're both starving, so let's get started. So the, the many men, just to finish. They know many men. Anyway. Yeah, they know many men for those who were watching the channel when I was watching, when I was traveling with Saliha. But for those who were not, it's pretty much mix of tomato, egg, capsicum, uh -huh. a little bit of cheese. Sometimes this kind of cheese they, you can put, but it's not so common. Okay. Generally, the yeah, capsicum, okay. uh, tomato, and yep. some. There is an argument with, uh, <coughs> the, with about people with uh, is menemen with um, onion or onion? not? Or without onion? Some of them want to put. I will go with onion. onion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some of them don't want. Yeah. Miss menemen uh, 2022. How is they it? Put good. Yeah. I like it. You like it, eh? Not as good as yours, but not far. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enjoy. Uh, I forgot how you say that. Ah, Fiat Olsen. Yes. It's bon appétit. Bon appétit. Enjoy your meal, ah, Fiat Olsen, in Turkish. Let's dig in. Okay, you see, guys, even inside, it's very nice place. Very cozy. Reminds me of uh, those uh, cafes in Paris, actually. So, yeah, just to finish on the breakfast, guys. I lost Sally Hal, by the way. I don't know where she is. She's, she probably ran away when she saw the bill. Because I was going to tell you, it was quite pricey. It was 450 tele, so the Turkish lira. And that's about, well, now the Turkish lira has gone down drastically since COVID. But still something like, I would say, $25 maybe. Which is actually not too expensive, but for Turkey, it's still a lot of money, let's put it this way. Uh, but even anyway, I mean, $25 for two breakfasts is quite fancy, but bear in mind that we are in the heart, in the heart of Istanbul, right next to the famous Galata Tower, which is obviously one of the symbols of the city. So, you know, all in all, it's still quite affordable, uh, especially if I compare to places like other cities like Paris, London, 
or Melbourne or in Australia or Perth where I used to live where for this amount of money you would get something extremely basic so <laughs> there she is I was like she ran away when she saw the bill <laughs> so I hope you I hope you enjoy this traditional Turkish breakfast with the traditional Turkish guide <laughs> last glance at the Beautiful Kalata Tower. Uh, do you want and me to tell you something? Yeah, please. Like there is a, um, How long is this going to take? <laughs> bit, bit my English. <laughs> uh, the, there is something about this, like if uh, the couple go upstairs yeah. together... Oh, they have to they get will... married? Yes. <laughs> okay, oh, but we are, we are parked the other way. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day, inshallah, as you say. <laughs> Remember in Kashmir you told someone, the, the, the guys, she's my wife? Yeah, because just otherwise, because they, didn't otherwise they, they, would, they would have cut my head too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. Okay, we'll see you soon. This is the, the street. This is the street. Yeah. The people, foreign people generally come to Turkey and yeah. take a picture just from here. With the with tower the in the background. Tower. Yeah. Yeah, yeah not a bad frame right here. I like the decoration, very natural. Oh, Christmas trees, explain to me. You guys celebrate Christmas in Turkey? No, you don't. And Not I know, the you 21st. Know, you, know why, you know why I know they don't? Because I was asking Sally about when is Christmas. She didn't even know. I told her I was gonna go home for Christmas. Remember when I told you I'm going home for Christmas and you didn't yeah, realize when it was? I was thinking that it's the 30th because we, like Christmas, it's a new year for us. We are not celebrating the Christmas. We are celebrating the new year. This is the most Turkish thing I ever heard. So Christmas is new year 30th. for us. Okay. It's a lovely street, huh? Yeah. It's really nice here. Yeah. You see, they have all the fancy, uh, fancy bakeries, cake shops, and all. A lot of cafe Kebab. places. Kebab too. Kebab, yeah? Okay, so you have to finish the food vlog in Istanbul tonight. We'll go for dinner. I already booked a place. What? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Really? <laughs> what a good boyfriend. Well done. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if there's any speciality, but we'll find something. We'll see you there. So, how is my private chauffeur doing? Good. Do you enjoy? Yeah, I'm still alive. So, so far, so good. Excuse me. Uh, so we're crossing Istanbul downtown now guys and we are on the European side so as you guys probably know Istanbul has one foot in Europe and the other in Asia it's actually the geographical border between the two continents the, the, the border itself being the Bosphor so you say Bosphorus in Turkish about to cross one of the numerous uh, bridge, bridge, bridges which, which one is that? Atatürk and it's uh, almost my favorite time of the day guys it's nice it was a nice and sunny day although as you see the way i'm dressed now india seems very far because although some places were kind of you know cold in india here it's just cold all the time while it's winter european winter is definitely harsh i tell you my mate I'm, I'm scared to fly home now because my mate told me it's miserable it's minus temperatures every day so it's gonna be interesting minus yeah minus yeah at night or every night minus but not not no snow like rain like how is that even possible shouldn't it snow when it's below uh, zero uh, but no not all the time anyway so you see guys the traffic is also quite dense here in Istanbul um, it's a li <laughs> not not as much noise as in as in India, of course it's hard to beat the Indian traffic. Then the big river and you see all the all the fishermen, there's heaps of them. So, Miss Oskan, where are we now? Ali Beko. Ali Beko. This is the most, <laughs> the most old city. The most old city? The oldest, right? 
the oldest city in the town. The oldest city in the town. So, <laughs> Sa Saliha is learning English, as you can see. And it doesn't, look, it doesn't look too old from the look of it. No, this guy. What? No, but because you, you didn't see them. Uh, Talk about my driving. Okay? Yeah, because this lady is, uh, she doesn't look like it, but she uh, teaches people how to drive. So ever since she works, the accidents increased a lot in Istanbul. You can't. <laughs> I hate when you're talking when I'm driving. Oh. Careful, careful, careful. She, although she's a textile engineer, she then carried on and starting a business with her mom, a driving school business. And the business, so it's in this area, yeah. mm -hmm. around, around here. And now we're gonna go to a place she, she goes for kebab. Mm -hmm. Kebab. Chop shish. So as you know guys, kebab is like the special, like the, the signature dish of uh, Turkey. So let's go and hopefully we can see how they make it and all that be cool. So how is the place? Güney Durum Evi. Which is yeah the house, a house of kebab. <laughs> let's let's put it uh, let's put it simply. Oh yes, the store. They store the meat here. You see on skewers. And then oh wait, what's this one there? The small ones are the. Jir. Jir. Okay, English. <laughs> so we know. Uh, liver, the liver. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, so liver here. Wow, there's massive yeah. onions. And then, chicken, oh yeah, chicken is, and skewer. Uh, Adana Ulfa, yeah. I don't know which one is it, but kebab. So yeah, in, 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 in Turkey, they have a lot of different kind of kebabs. Pretty much each region, kind of. Not almost, each region, but especially almost. Especially east side. Yeah, like yes. each part of the country would have those wow, different amazing. type of kebabs. And, and that's what we're going to find out. Okay, let's go, let's get in. They put everything on skewer here, not only the meat but the tomato and the capsicum. What is the this one there? Is it onion? Oh, those are onions. Oh, wow. The meat, and then you see they chop up all the uh, veggie here. Wow, look at that pile of onion there! The mountain of onion. Lem. Lem. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. Mm, that smells good as well. And the different spices. And uh, yeah, I want to show you something also, guys. The uh, Iran. It's the traditional. Uh... Yeah, thank you so much. Iran is everybody drinks that in Turkey, right? Yeah, especially with the kebab. So yeah, this drink, guys, is the typical Turkish drink. Uh, it's pretty much milk. No, it's yogurt. It's and yogurt water and, and water. And okay. Salt. Okay. So it's not milk at all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's very, very tasty, very refreshing. However, I think it's if you start drinking a lot of them, you, you become fat. Uh, no, it's like because of yogurt, you're. Uh, you're starting to feel yeah, a bit so tired. A little tired, okay. And it, it, I suppose it helps to digest as well a little bit, but... Yeah. Ah, here we are. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, okay, so that's how it comes, you see. So, I don't know about you, you guys, where, where you're watching from, but in France, in my hometown, in my home country, but even in Australia, when I used to live there, when we say kebab, we think of a wrap, you know? Uh, but when you look at this now, it actually comes like with many different uh, items. Beautiful. So you see, I love it. it comes on the spit. You see, it comes on the table, still on the spit. You know, on the, on the, on the skewer. So, as I told you before, guys, there's how many different type of kebabs in Turkey? Maybe six, seven. I, I tried at least four or five, I can't tell them all, but anyway. Um, we have two different types here. We have, sorry, I forgot the name yeah. of this one. Chupshish. Chupshish, and this one is Adana Kebab. Adana, by the way, is a, is a city. It's a city in uh, Turkey. I was going to say in India. It's a city in Turkey located south of, on, on the south coast. And this is, this is beef. This is beef as well. 
but why they look so different? Because those who are on a spit or just you know just bits, pretty much bits of of uh, uh, beef that they just put on and grilled. But those one, this one is actually minced. This is minced beef, and then they just put it together, they shape it up nicely, and then they put it on a spit. And they obviously use also different spices. So the meat is marinated in a different way, which is give, gives at the end a different flavor. Yeah, I'm, I'm done talking about them. I'm so hungry now, so let's just go for it, babe. We're gonna have the Turkish princess showing us how it's done. The proper way, how to eat a kebab in Turkey 101. And then you kill someone. Then you're starting to eat. Them. I was about all this. <laughs> you forgot all this. You don't do anything with that. Oh, you were just you hungry. You just wanted to smash. You can eat like this, or you can put some in it. Yeah, and that looks it better already. On you. Yeah, so you take a little bit of bread, pretty much, and you can just put anything you want in it, right? You can put a little bit of onion. Okay, so I will, I will do it, guys, because I feel like I'm the Turkish guy. Here. <laughs> so bit, bits of onion, bits of tomato with. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, vinegar? Tomato. A little bit of vinegar, I think. And then, oh wow, yeah. Let's put one of these bad boys. Take a little bit, grab it all. Whoa, there you go. And now you have a nice kebab ready to go. Mmm. 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 The meat is really well cooked. Yeah. Yep. I told you they're cooking very good here. Yeah. And I, as you saw guys, everything is fresh. I suppose that whenever they run out of veggies or whatever, they just chop some more, put them on the grill. And yeah, that's good. I like it. I missed it actually. Yeah, it's good. I missed it. <laughs> Thank you for it's you. been a while since I last had a kebab. Ah, fetos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put that on my hand. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It smells good as well. Ah. You know this karampit? No. It's because you ate onion that uh, ah. makes your. Can I try it like this? Yeah, yeah. Can I? Yeah. Sure. What is this? Karampit. I don't remember the English name. Yeah, in India they also give stuff like that at the end. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. The same. Very uh, similar. Yeah, same target. Yeah, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have, <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have taken it. Really? I prefer to keep the kebab taste Aww. in my mouth. So, how much was it, uh, Dani? Because she's very generous, she's paying for the food. 105 <laughs> That's a lot of numbers. It's around $7. Because the Turkish lira is now worth nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kolaga Sint. Thank you, Chef. Kalagasi. Did you say something for Turkish Mira? I have to spit it out. Oh. It's too strong. It's strong. Why? It's way too strong. <laughs> wow. <laughs> fresh now, fresh. Yeah, fresh. Super fresh. It's good and it's also so um, Come healthy. Here. Come here. Healthy. So, um, so guys, uh, thanks for watching this food vlog in Istanbul. Oh, I hope you liked it. It was a little bit of a rough vlog, to be honest. I didn't. I came here to see my darling, not really to make any any vlogs, but you know how it is. The camera is never <laughs> the camera is never is never too far away. Yeah, I will one day definitely come back again because now I have big strong ties in Turkey uh, to show you really the city, which is marvelous of Istanbul. But I just didn't have time now during this particular stopover because we are actually going now to. Two. Two. The airport. The airport. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> She's a little slow. That's okay. We can understand. I'm she... so sad. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> She's bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm flying back to Paris now. I'm, I'm gonna land uh, later on tonight in Paris. It's only a couple of hours flight, I, I think. And yeah, so next vlog, guys, I'll be in France to show you around, you know, my, my, my city where I grew up and, you know, tell you about the history and stuff. So thanks a lot, Miss Oskin. <laughs> mm -hmm. See you soon, guys. Yeah.